Jesus desires believers to be interconnected with him and each other to bear good fruit. Top of the morning to you. So what would life look like if we lived like we believe Galatians 2.20? I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So Christ lives in me. He lives in you. Acts 17.28 In him we live and move and have our being. We can verify this as true according to 1 John 2.6. He who says he abides in Christ ought to walk just as he walked. Well, how did Jesus walk? Jesus walked in love, so we should do the same, Ephesians 5, 2. We are also to walk by faith, not by sight, 2 Corinthians 5, 7. We are to walk in the Spirit, not fulfilling the lust of the flesh, Galatians 5, 6. Ephesians 5, 8 says we are to walk as children of the light, because John eight twelve says Jesus is the light of the world. Since we are the temple of the living God, 2 Corinthians 6.16, God will dwell in them and walk among them. In Deuteronomy 13.4, you shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments, obey his voice, and you shall serve him and cleave to him. Galatians 3.28, you are all one in Christ Jesus. This connects us to fellow believers as pointed out in Romans 12.5. So we, being many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. We're all connected. John seventeen twenty one, That they all may be one as you, Father, are in me, Jesus, and I in you, and that they may be one in us. Why? That the world may believe that you sent me. This unity makes us fruitful. John fifteen four. Abide in me and I in you as the uh, branch cannot bear fruit and of itself unless it abides in the vine, Jesus. Neither can you bear fruit unless you abide in me. This was all part of God's plan as seen in 1 John 4, 9. In this, the love of God was manifest towards us, that God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, into the world that we might live through him. This whole complex thing began with one commitment to allow Jesus to be our Lord and Savior. That commitment set in motion a series of connections that bind us together to the point that when Jesus moves, we move. When we move, fellow believers move, all in unity towards one common goal, bearing good lasting fruit to populate the kingdom of God. Have a great day.